now let us come back and learn your anionic ligands how to name the anionic ligands now here again the same thing suppose if this is what this is sulfite isn't it s a u l p h i t e now this e is replaced by o so i'm going to write here e is replaced by o but you have certain uh, uh, this an exceptions here so this is one you'll be naming it in a different way this is one this is also one this is also one let us start so for the first three you can follow the same uh, thing e will be uh, replaced by i so this is e isn't it take out this e and write sulfato okay this is sulfate not sulfite you know wrong this is this is sulfate so 3 no no so 4 sulfate okay sulfato now this is what thio isn't it thio sulfite so you're going to write it as thio sulfato now this is carbonate so let us write carbonate in carbonate take out this e and replace by o carbonato so i said these are exceptions little bit different though they are negative anionic ligands you're going to name this as nitro you're going to name this as nitrito you're going to name this as this is from nitrogen it is linking so it is from if it is linking with uh, sulfur then we call it as thio if it is linking with um, nitrogen we call it as iso iso thio cyanato this is thio cyanato little bit different except here uh, just mark this so this is how you're going to name your anionic ligands e replaced by o